Hey guys, um, this is Tech Extreme, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Fedora USB and how to install it. So the creation of the installation USB and post installation, I guess. I will just show you how to set up Fedora and all of that. So first of all, you'll need a USB that's two gigabytes, a computer that's capable of running Windows Vista or higher, and an internet connection. And basically when you have those three things, um, there will be a link in the description to go to Fedora's website, which is what I'm doing now. And once you get there, I will tell you what to do. And once you get here, you're going to want to click on Fedora Workstation if you're just running it on a regular PC or if you're using a server, click on Fedora Server. I think both installations are pretty much the same. So for me, I'm just going to use Fedora Workstation. Just click on the download link and wait for the page to open. So when you get to this page, you're going to want to click on um, download installer for Windows or Mac, depending on what you use. Because it'll be easier for people to do. And um, so just save it wherever you want and wait for that to download. So what we're going to do next is we're going to insert our USB into the computer. And what we're going to do next is we're going to press Windows button and R to open up Run. And what we'll type now is Disk Park. And what this is going to do is it's just going to wipe the drive entirely so that we can use it for installation purposes so what you're going to do first is type list disk and i know mine is a 16 gig drive so the one that kind of says 14 gigs i'm going to assume that that's the one so if you have multiple drives um plugged in at once try and find out which is yours that you want to use because if you use this command on a drive that you didn't want to use it on it wipes everything so just make sure you know which one it is um so mine is disk one so i'm going to type select disk one type clean type create partition primary And then the last command, which is we're going to format it. Um, file system fs is equal to ntfs and quick. So that won't take ages to do it. And um, once it's done that, just type assign and exit and once that's done you can open up your downloaded fedora media writer and just click on all the confirming steps and just click finish and it should open up for you Okay, and once it's opened up, you're going to want to click on Fedora Workstation 30 or Server 30, depending on if you want it on like a regular computer or just like a server. And just click on Create Live USB. Um, it's going to be downloading it in the background, so select the drive that you want to use. It's already selected mine for me. So now all we have to do is wait for it to download and we click right to disk okay so once it has finished downloading just click right to disk and leave it do its thing
Okay, so the drive has finished writing, so what we'll do now, um, this is optional, but the red button here that says delete the downloaded image, I'm going to do that, so that I can save space. And now that the drive is ready, what you're going to want to do now is switch off your computer. Um, depending on the type of computer you have, you're going to want to tap F12, delete, or escape in order to access something called a boot menu. And in this boot menu, you will select your drive. You'll know the name of it. If it's a branded drive, you'll you'll know the name and you'll just use the arrow keys to go down to it and press enter and it will load up. So I'm going to try and show you this um, using a virtual machine. The process is the exact same whether it's a virtual machine or just installing it onto your computer. Um, so I'm just going to get a virtual machine set up and we'll go from there. Okay, so basically what you're going to want to do is turn off your computer and turn it back on, but this time press your boot menu key. Okay, for some reason the boot menu kind of went away fast, but basically what it was saying was um, you had options and you had to select one of them using the arrow keys. I selected the USB option and press enter. And so the boot. Not the boot menu, but the installation menu is kind of popped up. You're going to want to select Start Fedora. Okay, so when you get to here, just click on Install to Hard Drive. And then just from here, just follow the instructions and click continue. Okay, so when you get to this part, just click on installation destination. Um, and click done. And go into time and day and select where you're from.
Then click begin installation and leave it do its thing. Okay, so now that it has finished installing, just restart your PC. Okay, so once your computer has restarted, you'll have a welcome menu like this. Just click next. Click next again. Um, if you want to add your accounts, you can. And just your full name and your username. And then just click next. and your password and now that that's done you can use Fedora so that concludes this tutorial on how to install Fedora and how to create the USB to install Fedora if you guys enjoyed the video give it a like if you didn't give it a dislike I guess comment down below and I will see you in the next one this is Tech Extreme signing out. Everyone have a good day.